Hey there everybody, welcome back with the Plapper. Platypus is the name and we're back with another One Step From Eden guide video and today is the one that people have been requesting for a while. It's how to beat the shopkeeper. Now I want to preface this with a few things. One, the thing I got to do as a YouTube video making person. Please follow my Twitch, please like the video, please subscribe, blah 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 blah, all that stuff. Twitch description down below. I stream One Step From Eden. I stream other games as well, but One Step From Eden is definitely a staple. And uh, all the YouTube shit, you already know that. Two, this is the cheese tactic. This is not like the, you just work really hard and you master it and then you beat it and you feel good about yourself. This is like the, no, no, I just want to unlock the character strategy. How do I just unlock the character? I'll figure out how to get good later. That's what we're doing here. So basically it's actually going to be pretty simple. So I prefer using, as far as which character you want, there are a lot of options, obviously, but um, Reva with her um, with her reflector gem is pretty good and can help keep you safe a little bit. Um, Saffron, I personally, I use Saffron Chrono, but Saffron Default can be actually pretty good. So we're basically trying to bait out, the basic strategy here is we are going to look for Soul Link. Soul Link is a spell right here. Let's go ahead and sort uh, by focus. Can we go down faster? Is there a button that lets me go faster? No, we'll, we'll go normal speed. Don't worry about it. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, soul link right here. Shot applies link for six seconds. This actually doesn't tell you what link does in this menu, but basically link means whenever anything takes damage, the linked target also takes equal amounts of damage. So what we're trying to do is she, uh, the shopkeeper will summon an attack that fills every tile basically, or almost every tile with a big old ice pillar. And then it follows up with a giant nuclear warhead and it will destroy all these uh, ice pillars. The 666 damage. So if you can soul link um, before she gets a chance to do the ice pillar attack, like you see it's about to come up or you just get lucky and you mash it in the beginning like I did. Um, and then she does it. Then what will happen is you'll link her. She'll summon all these ice pillars. She'll hit all of them for 666 damage or at least like a, a three by three square. And she will just straight up kill herself immediately with one attack. Um, so the reason why I personally use the chrono is because I really like the obviously the watch I thought the wristwatch would help me dodge until it would help me make better decisions like land the soul link Kind of better see when the attack is coming But honestly, I think having um default would probably be easier with the revive giving you potentially a second try um, Like if you soul link or you miss or something or you get hit you could do that, but also, so when she summons the pillars, you got to be able to break the pillar in front of you so you can run out of the way of the big AOE attack. Because if you're kind of low, it does like 666 damage. It could just straight up kill you. So having just an, an auto attack that can help you break the pillars is um, really, really good. Also, kinetic wave is good for that as well. So um, I'd probably recommend saffron default for this technique. But basically, what you're gonna do, I mean, you're you're gonna see this, and I'm gonna have a clip following. I'm not gonna demonstrate this because I don't know how many attempts it'll take to get it right this is not this is a cheese tactic so don't expect it to work the first time but if you do this multiple times it should work no problem so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start the run do your first fight you're set, set your focus misery misery your goal is to find soul link ASAP before the first shopkeeper on the first floor now you could probably extend this and do it later um, but the earlier you are the less HP she has and it'll be easier for her to one shot herself and honestly, that's basically the entire strategy. This is actually a kind of a good way to just learn the boss as well, because she doesn't always open with that ice attack, um, even though she does, I feel like, a lot. Um, but if you just kind of wait for that attack, you do it. But while you're waiting for it, practice dodging other attacks. If you're playing default Saffron, you have a revive, so you don't feel that punished for dying. And you're on the first floor, so it's not that bad. And while you're doing this, you might as well just get some practice against the shopkeeper, because, um, you know, one, you want to be able to defeat her for the achievement to get the... Um, the shopkeeper level four fight, you know, done. And also it's just kind of good just to learn the fight in general. Um, that way you could do a true genocide run whenever you want. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I don't have that much to say. This is going to be kind of a short guide video. Um, it's a pretty simple strategy and it's one that I think you guys could all implement pretty easily, which is why I think this is the go-to strategy for a lot of people. Um, I hope you enjoy the clip to follow the demonstration of said technique. And, as always, uh, I already did it in the beginning, but doing it again, self-promo, subscribe, like, 
follow me on Twitch. Mostly, honestly, if you have to do pick one thing, I prefer just to follow me on Twitch and watch me on Twitch because it makes streaming this game more fun when there's more people in the audience. As far as the subscription, all the YouTube stuff, the YouTube stuff is basically here to get people to my Twitch. Not really the I'm not I don't stream to get people to my YouTube if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, we're we're done. Peace out. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoy the clip. Um, one more. We'll do a couple attempts here, like two, three attempts, just fighting the, uh, just trying to fight the shopkeeper. Honestly, turret SD might be kind of good. We want misery, misery. We'll figure out what we're gonna move when we get there. Um, watch out for the missile. We got Soul Link. Can we do it? The issue is I've not practiced this practiced this technique at all. Oh, that's uh, that was a mistake on me, I'll admit. Okay. 3,000 HP. It's 666 damage, not instant, but it's massive. Okay, so it's not quite instant. We're at full HP. I think we'll take the mana. Or do we take the upgrade? I, I was thinking maybe upgrade minigun, but I don't know how good that is. Actually, that probably would have been good. Lose two money. Nine fragile, no, that just kills us. Okay, we're gonna shuffle. Uh-oh. Put that there. Can Hazel just cheese this fight by just upgrading this? Like, giving this a thousand, no, you can't give the spell power in the middle of the fight. Okay. Get her, get her. Easy! <laughs>